All right, so a lot of people like to talk about how, you know, things used to be, right? Where they'll talk about how people weren't snowflakes. I guess to basically easily try to sum that up. I disagree with that whole notion of people not disagreeing with stuff as much. Very strongly. Because... As someone who grew up through the transition, okay, the reality of the situation was that the person who spoke loudest and said the most offensive shit was generally a person who was either they were popular or they were the person who could whoop your ass. And everyone who disagreed was most likely to not speak up. Because the thing is, if you spoke up, then you tend to be the person who, you know, got stuffed in the locker, got your ass whipped, got the swirly, you know, got spitball spit at you, got picked on by everybody. And a lot of other people who possibly, you know, felt offended as well, they weren't going to jump to your aid because they were also people in the same position as you where they were the people who would get their ass whipped. And because they didn't want their ass whipped, they typically would join in with the bully and support the bully so that they don't become the target. Okay, so during that time period, you could get ignored and nobody would know. Okay, nobody would give a fuck. Whereas with the internet, if you say some shit, right, you can reach other people who feel the same way as you and then everybody can get together and be upset. Because when you look at a lot of like these people that get mad, they tend to be the minority, but they're the loudest. And of course, people have a tendency to not see things for what they really are, right? Because if you look at things, right, you look at how people will tell you certain things like it's fact. But then if you look at statistics, statistics tell a completely different story. And that's typically how it is with people. People go based off of their experiences, right? So it's the whole perception of because all the people around me feel this certain type of way, then I'm going to assume that this is how the world is. That's how people tend to think. And people don't look at life from the whole perception that the people who are around you, right? Your environment is what shapes how you perceive the world. So you're surrounded by these certain types of people and they create how you see the world. And that in turn also contributes to what people that you attract into your life. So you're going to attract people who are like them. So everyone that you perceive is going to be based on your perception because the people who disagree with your perception are going to avoid you because you show off that perception. It's like, think of it like this, right? If somebody is a drug dealer, you don't expect them to have all of their friends be cops, right? I mean, unless they're crooked cops, of course, but like regular ass cops. And think about why that happens, right? Taking the whole drugs out of situation, all right? These people don't know that the person sells drugs. There's a certain vibe that this person gives off, right? And that vibe that the person gives off makes those people who are cops avoid becoming friends with them. And they avoid the cops because of the vibe that the cops give off, right? So even though that drug dealer doesn't know they're cops, the cops don't know that they're drug dealers. It's just a certain feeling that you get around certain people right that makes you avoid them that makes you not connect with them so of course you're not going to meet these people who live a completely different reality from you because of the vibe that you give off it reflects that reality that you see so you're only attracting what you believe into your life so the way that you the thing that you, things that you believe are the truth are only the truth because you believe is the truth you see it as the truth and that's what you attract. And of course that fits all of the attraction shit, but I'm not trying to talk about the attraction shit, but it really is the same exact fucking thing.
right? It's just all about like your whole mentality. And that's about the people that you're around. So the fact there is that it really wasn't the the whole perception that everybody makes it, right? Because everybody has this, always wants to talk about the past, right? And in general, shit was the same. The only difference is that with the internet, you're able to see more. There have been with people who disagreed with X, Y, and Z. But they weren't able to speak up without the internet. Now that there's the internet, they're able to speak up. So the difference isn't that people are suddenly becoming snowflakes. The difference is now people are able to say, that's some fucked up shit. Now, I don't agree with taking shit too far. Like, there's some people who will become really fucking toxic. Like, it's okay to disagree. It's okay to not like some shit. But some people take sh just go way too overboard and say shit that's even worse than what the fuck actually truthfully happened. You know? And then canceling people just because you disagree with them. Right? I can understand if the person is being harmful, but it's some shit that is just like you very much disagree with and you're creating this scenario within your head of how this person affects reality that's not real. It never really happened, but you created that scenario in your head and because you created that scenario and you see it as reality and you believe it is the truth now you're creating fear within yourself to say that oh this person doing xyz means abc is gonna happen which is a threat to me and reality is that that threat does not exist you created that threat within your mind it's not real but you perceive it as real With that being said, because, you know, I brought up the whole ignoring people thing. Like, because another thing that I heard, you know, some people talk about how they're ignoring people thing. Because they're basically, like, people do crazy shit on the internet, right? And you should ignore those people. And, of course, people feed in into the likes and whatever else. That's an iffy type of situation, right? Because, see, here's the whole thing, right? People, people need connections. As human beings, we need connections. And whether y'all want to admit that shit or not, people are becoming more and more apathetic, right? People don't want to build connections. People don't want to get close to each other. So everybody wants to point fingers at social media because of people acting out. But it's like, I, but... If you would take the time to connect with people, take the time to become friends with those people, they wouldn't be so dependent on all the likes and attention in the first place. The whole reason that they're so dependent on the likes and the attention is because everybody around them doesn't give a shit. So it's like, how about instead of blaming social media, you blame yourself. And be like, well, what could I do to help this person to make them stop acting a fucking fool, right? But nobody gives a fuck. Everybody wants to have the mentality of I'm going to do whatever I want to do. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about nobody but my fucking self. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. And that's perfectly fine. You have the right to choose what you want to do. But understand that every single choice that you make, no matter how small, comes with consequences. Every choice that you make affects the people around you. If you want to be about yourself, cool. If you want to not give a fuck, cool. If you don't want to connect with other people, cool. But don't sit there and decide to do that shit and then turn around and get mad because somebody's on the internet acting a fool. Somebody's doing stupid ass shit for likes and attention and shit. Who wants attention other than people who don't have any connections with anyone and the first thing people want to do is you want to sit there and blame that person it takes two to fucking tango bottom line if somebody is bad 
at communication, that also means that everyone that they try to communicate with is also bad at communication. They also don't have the patience to work with that person, which you don't have to. But if you're going to choose not to, you can't turn around and complain about the consequences of your choice to not do the shit. No, it's not your responsibility. But it still comes with consequences regardless of whether it's your responsibility or not. That's how life fucking works. Every choice that you make comes with responsibility. I mean, damn, every choice that you make comes with consequences, even if it's not your responsibility. You can still completely change a situation. That's not your responsibility. A situation can still negatively affect your life, even if it's not your responsibility. Life doesn't give a fuck about what's your responsibility and what isn't. Life doesn't give a fuck about you being right or wrong. It doesn't give a fuck about the choices that you have the right to make. It doesn't give a fuck about none of that shit. Life has consequences that happen irregardless of A, B, C, X, Y, Z, or whatever the fuck you believe, however you perceive the world, whatever the fuck happens, life don't give a shit about that. Consequences are consequences, and they happen regardless. So you have to understand that you have the right to make the choices that you make, but shit's also going to go down because of the choices that you make. It is what it is.